welcome to Wednesday the 4th of April. We are currently on our way to church uh, for our holy anointing week because it's Holy Wednesday today and um, yeah so tomorrow we'll have our, we'll take I should say, we will take our Holy Communion. So we are on Great Western Road at the moment and um, yeah that's what we're doing tonight. This is the road our church is on. That's our church just there. Actually, it's a cathedral. There we go. Just there. Good morning and welcome to the 5th of April. It's first thing in the morning just now, but it is a beautiful sunny morning. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd do, I'm off to church for my Holy Communion, so I thought I'd do a quick outfit before I went. I have a Karen Millen dress on, just my cross there, just some uh, black thick tights, 40 denier I think they are. My Miu Miu shoes, nice sparkly heel on the Miu Miu shoes. Here we go, nice decent heel for me. And I'm just gonna take my jumbo. This is what I put on my eyes. This is just a Chanel, a very old Chanel palette. It's quite embarrassing, actually, look at it. Whoop, them three, and let's just put that color on my eyes. And just a L'Oreal one, which I don't have here. My double wear, and on my lips, NARS. Pencil, I think Dolce Vita is the colour. Oh, the yeah. usual bubbly, which I'm going to take when I go to pick up my Metis from Edinburgh. I'm going to take my bubbly coat to be dry cleaned. I phoned, inquired about it, so it's a matter of taking it in. Costs about £60 to dry clean and just my woolen bubbly scarf. They probably will be a chill in the air, although it's beautiful. We'll just show you. Go into Mama's room. Show you, it's quite a bright day today. There we go. Nice bright day today. Mama's all showered. I showered Mama in the morning, first thing this morning as well. So she's sitting there all cosy. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the dye, I've ordered some dye to colour my eggs for Easter. So I'm hoping they will arrive. We actually paid £6 next day delivery for them. So we ordered them on Monday, I think it was, which was a bank holiday. So we've given, you know, give and take some days. It's now Thursday and we still haven't received them. And I mean, it's thin packets of dye. If they come through, I'll show you them. And um, I really need them to come through because if they don't, this will be the first ever Easter. Um, I haven't dyed my eggs, but what I'll probably do is get some onions and some red onions and use the dye from them I think is what I'm going to have to do. It's very similar this dress to my Michael Kors one that's more fitted this kind of flutes out a bit at the end so yeah that's the eyeshadow but that's I just use the two colours and that's my lipstick sitting there just now comes from that palette there don't know where I've put the lid to it it will appear eventually and I just put my Jo Malone perfume on today. This is the Amber and Patchouli. Just some retail therapy after church. I'm back from church with a little stop at the shops at Fraser's to I was going in to actually um, check my sizing because um, B had said to me to 
B had said to me to watch the sizing with the Gucci trainers and she was absolutely right because I had to size down. So um, yeah, so I just picked them up. As I was there, they had a fresh pair and I thought I'll just get them. And I got five pounds off them because I had five pounds on my Fraser's card. So there you go. So now I'm gonna get ready to boil up these eggs because um, I'm going to turn them red. But this year I'm going to do some red, blue and yellow ones as a wee change. We'll see how many break. Can't use them if they break. Need to add some white vinegar in the dye. That's the dye there. And that's some uh, green lentils which I'm going to cook up. Because I'm still not going to eat meat. Although I've, um, I took my communion today. Um, I'm going to continue my fast until Saturday, I think, so far. Uh, clothes pegs, because look, I've actually got the washing out today and I felt I needed some more clothes pegs. So another bag of clothes pegs, just some tea lights, vanilla, sweet vanilla, because that's my favourite because... I'm going to bring the light back from church on a Saturday night and I'm going to light my candles in my house with the holy light from church. Yeah, so I'm now going to put some of my flowers in the vase, some roses, and fill my vases with some flowers and then get on with boiling the eggs. So just putting the eggs in now to boil and then I'm going to dye them once they're boiled. There we go, so it's just cold water with vinegar. Apparently the vinegar helps them not to break. I've already showed them the dye. <laughs> I know, I look beautiful. So that's my eggs boiled. And one way of telling that your eggs are boiled, by taking an egg, like so, spinning it, and when it spins fast like that and it's not going kind of slow like that, it means it's hard boiled there you go see and that's how to tell if an egg's hard boiled so i'm just rinsing them off now and putting them in the colander just to kind of make sure the shell's nice and clean ready for me to put them in the dye here we go that's the first batch nice and yellow the instructions are all in greek here we go and tiny, tiny, tiny. Here we are. The yellow, the blue, the red. Aren't they beautiful? And I've got some more red going on in there as well. And over here, look at the state of my kitchen. But hey ho, it's real life. My beautiful flowers at the back right there. Can we see them? Anyway, in here I have the traditional lentil soup, which we have on Good Friday. So it's made with vinegar and I add onions and garlic and some turmeric as well. So it represents the fact that Christ was given vinegar when he asked for water on, when he was on the cross. So that's what that represents and that's what we eat on Good Friday. Lentil soup. I'll open it and show you but it doesn't look very appetising. It's just going on in there cooking. So there we go. That's my Thursday. I'd normally go out now and then look so fabulous. I've got my hair pinned back, so you know. Um, normally, I didn't get to church tonight, but I was there this morning, as I've already said, and oh, my contacts have dried up with all this steam that's been going on. Should have really had my glasses on, but then they were just steamed up as well. So yeah, but um, I just um, had the church service going on in the background on the TV, so. Can you tell it has been a long day? It has been a long day. The trouble is I have to clean all this up. Uh, hello and welcome to Friday the 6th of April. It's Good Friday. We're off to church. Georgie's all ready to go to church. Aren't you? We're taking her to church with us tonight. And uh, the situation here so far, so that's my eggs all finished and done, all the chocolates, flowers. So tonight is Good Friday, tonight is when Jesus is buried in the tomb. Yeah. Quick outfit before we go, just another black dress, 
This is kind of a crochet dress and uh, just my um, new look boots, kind of sock boots, nylon boots, most uncomfortable boots but they look nice with the dress so I'm just putting them on. Yeah, no special jewellery, just the usual, usual Burberry coats sitting there all crumpled up because I was sitting there editing. And then here we have a little parcel, which probably by the time you see this vlog, I will have unboxed. So I'm waiting to do an unboxing with that as well. That's the dress close up. You can see it's crocheted. There we go. So, yeah, off to church, ready. morning and welcome to the 7th of April off to church again this morning for the first resurrection so um, yeah planning to go to church I'm gonna pick up my granddaughter first of all and go to church I'm gonna take my granddaughter to take her Holy Communion today and um, come back and do some baking is the plan today yeah we'll see how it goes first time I'm trying a halloumi cake Dirobita, it's called in Greek. So it's the first time I'm going to try it, but fingers crossed. And it was a recipe from one of my aunties, and she, the, she's, she, her cooking recipes are like my mum's. Cup of this, cup of that, throw in a few eggs, you know, that kind of thing. Because they all just did it by guessing. So I'm going to try and do that today. Let's do a quick outfit as well. Just my Zara jumper, which you've seen me haul, with my Zara trousers. My Chanel shoes and jewellery, just snum. I've got my Hermes belt on as well. There we go. A bit loose, but hey ho. Yep, that's the outfit today. And then, usual, can't be bothered changing out my bag. So, I'm taking the Chanel, there it's there, right there. And the Burberry again. I know, boring. Still haven't unboxed that. Gonna change it up a bit today. There we go. I'm gonna take my Louis Vuitton shawl thanks the monogram shawl i think this is called and by the way i am itching itching for the um palm springs mini when i go in to pick up my pochette i am gonna see if they have one in stock they'll normally phone me from louis vuitton anyway to say that my pochette is ready and i'll ask them if they've got one in and if they haven't i'm gonna ask if they can bring one in for me because i would like to try it on as my new gym bag Okay, changed my mind about bags. I'm going to take the GST for a wee change. So, just changing out my bag from the jumbo to the GST just now. Here we go. Yep, I did say that I was going to um, make an effort to use this bag more. So, I thought, perfect opportunity. Goes lovely with my shoes, great with the outfit. So, that's the bag I'm using today. Church looking rather tired, but hey, oh, that's fine. 
hoping to get back there tonight when it is when Christ has risen and um, yeah I've got my candles ready for tonight everything's ready I'm just gonna bake a cake I've got halloumi here which I'm gonna grate and I'm just gonna put it in here and grate it in there so just put the halloumi in there twist and then I'll have grated halloumi so for this recipe I basically need uh, seven eggs one grated halloumi three cups of flour teaspoon of baking powder pinch of mint one cup of milk and raisins and I'll let you know how it turns out so it's basically all those ingredients mixed and in the oven Fingers crossed. Traditionally, we bring the light. This is the first light from church to the house as good luck. And I'll go through the whole house and just bring in the light. So yeah, Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. Want to see my mum?